Welcome to Green CE's movie series. The presentation will focus on selecting a site for building a sustainable structure. We will also explore site selection credit 1 for new construction, schools, and the core and shell version 3.0. The learning objectives of this presentation include Identify benefits of wetlands and prime farmland. Describe the importance of the Endangered Species Act. Explain how to restore and conserve wildlife habitat. Identify requirements for the Site Selection Credit 1. List other resources available to help select a sustainable site. Selecting a building site is one of the most crucial aspects of green building. The wrong choice could result in severe environmental damage. For Site Selection Credit 1 for new construction, schools, and the core and shell the intent is to avoid the development of inappropriate sites and reduce the environmental impact from the location of a building on a site. We will look at the Site Selection Credit 1 requirements and explore ways to reduce the environmental impact from building on or near an environmentally sensitive site. Selecting a building site can have many consequences for the surrounding community. Recently, the U.S. government devised new guidelines to help communities implement green building practices. In 2009, the Environmental Protection Agency, or EPA, in conjunction with the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development and U.S. Department of Transportation, created the Partnership for Sustainable Communities. The partnership outlines a series of livability principles, with several relating to the selection of a building site and ways to protect the environment. Some of the livability strategies include provide more transportation choices, develop safe, reliable, and economical transportation choices to decrease household transportation costs, reduce our nation's dependence on foreign oil, improve air quality, reduce greenhouse gas emissions, and promote public health enhance economic competitiveness. Improve economic competitiveness through reliable and timely access to employment centers, educational opportunities, services, and other basic needs by workers, as well as expanded business access to markets. Support existing communities. Target federal funding towards existing communities through strategies like transit-oriented, mixed-use development, and land recycling to increase community revitalization and the efficiency of public works investments and safeguard rural landscapes. Enhance the unique characteristics of all communities by investing in healthy, safe, and walkable neighborhoods, rural, urban, or suburban.